is Donate Life Month, a time set aside to help raise awareness for the need for more organ and tissue donors. KCRA3's Linda Muma shows us the symbolic act in Modesto this week to encourage others to get involved in this life saving effort. Kelsey Winther lived her life with great passion and purpose until an allergic reaction to a commonly prescribed medication two years ago caused her health to rapidly deteriorate. I was taking an antibiotic that was pretty normal and standard, and it caused me to go into hyperacute liver failure. Within a few years, her major organs began to shut down, and the once active 20 something says she became frail and fatigued. I began to get flu like symptoms and came here to Memorial in the ER when I developed a rash, and they realized. Pretty quickly, that I was in liver failure. Down to an alarming 115 pounds, Winther learned she would require a liver transplant to survive. Less than a week later, doctors located a donor and her life was spared. There's no way I would have survived. I think once the doctors got into surgery, they realized it was even worse than they had thought. There was no way I would have recovered without the transplant. The power of organ and tissue donation is something donor mom Paulette Carrier knows too well. 25 years ago, her son Rodney became the single largest donor in history after suffering a stroke at just 23 years old. At that time, three organs were common. He did seven major organs. He saved six lives that night. He gave sight to two young men. He made it possible for two young men to walk. By raising this flag outside Memorial Medical Center in Modesto, she and both donors and recipients hope to raise awareness of the importance of the simple life saving act, an act that made it possible for Michael Beggs to get a new liver after being on the transplant list for nine years. It's an opt in. In other countries, you have to be an opt out in order to not be on the list. But in this country, it's an opt-in. In Modesto, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. And today, nearly 1,300 people in Stanislaus, Merced, and San Joaquin counties are on the national waiting list for an organ transplant. They join the more than 22,000 awaiting life-saving transplants right here in California. That's